What's up everyone? My name is Colby, or as I'm better known as on Twitch, Instagram, and here on YouTube, Serial Killer. Uh, in today's video, I show you how to put together Vara Gould Chewer from the uh, Blood Bowl two-player starter set. And this is going to be the star player for the Black Orcs team. Um, this video, it was a lot of fun to do. Uh, this was a fun model to put together. I really hope it helps you all out. Uh, if this is your first time to the channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoy the video. And if you did, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out and it helps the channel. And um, I plan on getting the Black Orc uh, team put together within the next couple of days, as well as the Biased Referees and the Ogre. And me and my wife also bought each other uh, a couple of other Blood Bowl teams to play with. So I will be putting those together as well. Um, yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at how to put together the Vara Gold Chewer from the uh, two-player Blood Bowl starter set. So first off, let's go ahead and take a look at the tools that we will be using to put together the Varag Ghoul Chewer. We have our sprue cutters, which obviously we use to help us cut the pieces off of the sprues that we're going to need. This is a uh, mold line remover, and it is probably the most important, if not one of the most important tools that you can have. Um, for doing this hobby. I highly recommend getting one of these for anybody that does not have one. Uh, it is a lot better than using, uh, I call them exacto knives or, you know, box cutters, whatever you want to call it. But um, these work fine, but this does not have a sharp edge to it. So uh, there is that, That's a, it's just a great tool all around. Um, also some files to help kind of clean up some of the bigger pieces that might be left from the sprue. And of course, uh, super glue. I always try to use the gel super glue. Uh, this is the ultra control, but those are the tools that I will be using today. And so with that being said, let's go ahead and look at the sprues and figure out what we need to cut off first. And just so you can see before we start cutting all the pieces off, there are a lot of small pieces to the Varagul Chewer. So we're going to kind of go through this a little bit slower to make sure we get everything put together correctly. Um, but first off, it looks like the first four pieces we're going to need are going to be numbers one through four. So we can go ahead and look at the sprues that we're going to be using and find one through four and get those cut off. Now looking at the sprues, it looks like number one is going to be over here on this uh, sprue. And the way that I have these set up, it's kind of hard to see, but the letters that say GW Games Workshop Limited are facing each other right here. So if you put them together like that, it should be pretty easy to find the pieces. So you're going to need number one here, and then we've got two, three, and four. So let's go ahead and cut those off of the sprues and clean them up, and then we will start putting it together. Now once you have all those cleaned up, go ahead and take pieces uh, numbers two and three here. And what you will do is you kind of fit these together. There's a little groove in here and a little groove right here on the end uh, of number three. So you're gonna fit those to where they connect at the top here just like that and so you will glue those together after you have dry fit it and make sure that it fits in there um, to where it doesn't really leave too much of a gap you're going to have a little bit but that's what green stuff is for so go ahead and dry fit that and when you have it where you want to super glue it and we will move on to the next piece once you are done gluing those two pieces together, go ahead and grab number one. And as you can tell on the side, there's little grooves here on this piece, and it's the same with the back of the legs. So that will just sit in there flush. Um, and with that, go ahead and glue those pieces together, and we will go to the next step. Once you have that piece glued on, you're going to take number four, and it fits on top 
of the armor and it will fit down into the arm piece right there. So once you've kind of fit that to where it sits flush on the model, go ahead and put some glue on it. Uh, probably what I'm gonna do is put glue right around here and around the arm. So uh, that just kind of shows you what I'm gonna do with it, but go ahead and uh, put glue on it and then we will look at the rest of the pieces we need to cut out. And that is what it should look like so far. Um, it's obviously starting to come along. Now comes a lot of the smaller pieces. And so let's go ahead and take a look at the sprues again, and we will see where the numbers are that we need next. And so we have already put one through four together, and I'm gonna to try to do this in order of the numbers that are on these uh, sprues. So let's go ahead and take a look. And it looks like the next piece we're gonna need is number five, which is gonna be right here on the right-hand side. And then from there, we are going to need number six, which is going to be, I believe that is on the other sprue here. And that is going to be, yes, this piece right up here, those fingers. So let's go ahead and cut those two pieces off and we will put those together. And to put these two pieces on, you will grab number five here and it just sets right on top of this arm groove right here on his left arm. So as you can tell, it fits pretty smoothly on there. Um, it shouldn't really have a lot of movement to it at all. So go ahead and fit that and glue it together and then we will uh, go on to the next piece. Now looking at piece six, this is going to be his right hand. It's going to be his fingers. And that is going to just sit right on top of that spot uh, right here, that little open piece on his right hand. And as you can tell, it should fit pretty smoothly and not have a lot of gaps right there. So go ahead and glue that on and then we will uh, cut off the next pieces. Starting to put these together, you will see the chain mail. Um, and this just fits right down in there. So go ahead and glue that in and we will put together the uh, next piece, which can be a little bit trickier. So onto piece eight, you will see that it is a small little uh, piece and on it, it's got two little hooks. Those two little hooks will sit down into the holes right here on his right shoulder armor and they fit in there just right and then go ahead and just glue that in and we will move on to the next piece. As you can see that piece goes right there just where those two little grooves were in his right uh, shoulder armor. So with that one done we will go ahead and move on to piece nine which is going to be his left fist and this one should fit pretty easily into the groove, you'll see just a little bit right here, this little piece of armor comes over the top of his uh, fist, and there is actually a groove in the model just below the blade where that will fit together. So once you have that dry fit and it looks good, go ahead and glue it together and we will move on to the next piece. Next up is going to be the feet. We'll go ahead and do both of these at the same time. So just dry fit number 10, and you will tell that there's a little um, gap there and then a little piece sticking up that will let you know that that is number 10 and that's going to be the right foot. So go ahead, dry fit that, make sure that one's good and do the same with the other foot and they both should fit in there pretty easily and not move. Once you have those in there the way you want them, go ahead and put it together and then we will look at the next pieces we need to cut out. Our Vara Ghoul Chewer is coming along pretty nicely. Now, as you can tell, he is missing his face and that is actually the next pieces we are going to be using. So we are going to need numbers 12, 13, 
number 14. And let's go ahead and cut out number 15, which is going to be right here. So go ahead and cut those out and we will start working on putting them together. To start with, go ahead and grab 12 and 13 and you will actually put a 13 on top of 12 to make his face. So as you can tell, it just kind of sits in there. So go ahead and dry fit that and then glue it together and we will move on. With those two pieces glued together, you can go ahead and put the face on. And now the mouth is going to go over this grooved piece right here because this is actually his tongue. So as you can see, when you put it on, it makes up his tongue. So dry fit that and then go ahead and glue the head on. And then we will work on the next piece. Now with his head on, we go ahead and we will take this small little piece here. And as you can tell on the back, it's got kind of a uh, rectangular, rectangular uh, piece on the back of it that actually goes to the bottom of his jaw. So you will put it on um, just the bottom of his jaw there. And once you have that fit on, you go ahead and just glue it on. And then we will put on the tusks. So go ahead and glue that on there and we will move on to the next piece. Now that the face is done, let's go ahead and also cut out number 16 because it is also a tusk. And then we will take a look at how those go on to the face. Putting on these tusks can be a little tricky. What you're gonna do, again, make sure you dry fit this before you put them on. The tusk wants to, is going to sit right here in that groove. You're going to have one of the leather straps at the top actually going into the skull's eyeball, and then it goes into the temple on the left side of the skull. So you're actually going to have the armor sitting away from the face. So go ahead and dry fit that one, and then we will move on to the other side. With that piece put on, we are almost done. We have two pieces left, and that is going to be 17 and 18. So go ahead and cut those off of the sprue, and we will clean them up and put it together. So we have the last two pieces to put on, and this one's a little tricky because, as you can tell, you have to put these two pieces together, and it's going to fit into each other just kind of like that. You will see on the arm here, just at the top, there is just a tiny groove. And then if you put it on the back, there is also a tiny groove and it just fits in there. It's kind of hard to see, so it's gonna take a little bit of time. Take your time to do this. And um, once it's fit the way you want it to fit, go ahead and glue it together. Once that is glued together, you will take the corpse and you will see a groove on the top of his left shoulder plate, and he will fit in there just like that, and he should fit pretty easily. Um, you shouldn't really have any problems with it, and once you have that on there, go ahead and glue it uh, to the shoulder, and then we will put it on a base. And just like with one of the other models in the set, the Vara Ghoul sits on the base with just his the toes of one of his feet and so we're going to need to secure him to the base so what I'm going to do is drill a hole and put a little piece of a paper clip into it. What you want to do is have a hand, little hand drill. They're really cheap. They're great to have. Great for modeling. Great to keep uh, models on their bases especially ones like this. So you will take your paper clip and you will measure it out by putting the two pieces, the drill head and the paper clip together and make sure that they are the same size. Once you find one that size, you can go ahead and get that drill bit put into your uh, hand drill. And now it's not gonna take a lot to get through the toe here. So what you wanna do is just find a good spot in the center and slowly just twist the drill. I'm not even pushing the drill in. 
it's I'm letting it do it itself because if you go too far, obviously you're gonna go straight through the toe. So you just want to drill in just a little ways. And the best thing to do is kind of bring it out, see how far you can and want to go with it. And then go ahead and drill it out for just a little bit until you feel like it is far enough. Now, if you go through it, that's okay. You can always fix it with a little bit of green stuff and kind of even it out. And it really won't be noticeable but you want to get it deep enough to where the drill will kind of sit in there by itself and then once you have it drilled out you can go ahead and put the paper clip in there so go ahead and drill out a little hole in the foot and then we will uh, work with the paper clip now once you have that piece drilled out as you can see it's just in the bottom of the foot there go ahead and put the paper clip in and see how far it is going to go into the foot. And now with that in there, you can kind of measure it with the base and see how much more you need to cut off on the base. So probably just about to right there. So you can get your sprue cutters and just snip it off right there at the base. And then when you are done doing that, go ahead and get your glue and glue that piece into the foot of the model. Now once you have that piece in, you can go ahead and fit it on the on the base to see exactly where you want to put the model. And once you have that spot picked, you can kind of just press down and it will show you where that is going to be. So then you just drill out like you did with the base or with the foot on the model you can just drill through the base and you actually want it to go all the way through the base. So go until you feel it go all the way through and then take it out and you can actually fit the piece in there. So once you have it where you want, go ahead and glue him down and you should be good to go. And there you have it. That is the Vira Gold Chewer put together. So um, I hope you liked this video. If you did, again, please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. That way you know whenever I put out a new video. And um, let me know what you thought about this. Is there anything that I need to change? Anything I need to do differently? Uh, I've been trying to work on the sound. I know a couple of people have told me in the comments that that has been a problem. Hopefully this fixed it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, what teams are you playing? Uh, have you played Blood Bowl? What do you think about it? Let's have a conversation about it in the comments. Uh, also, I wanted to let you know if you are into mini painting and just board gaming in general, um, I actually run a Facebook group called Mini Painters United Worldwide. You can find a link to the group in the description below. There is about almost 2,000 uh, people in the group and we have a lot of great conversations. I try to post tutorials. Uh, from different painters and everybody in there is just great and loves to help each other out. But with that being said, thank you all so much. Again, if you did like this, please hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, and let me know what you thought. What can I change? Um, what are you excited to see uh, for Blood Bowl? Just like I said, let's have a conversation and let's just talk about it and see what everybody thinks. But until next time, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a Great rest of your day. Happy gaming and happy painting. Bye-bye.